oil look like when I drain this bad boy. And man, you could see that oil is just black. My buddy says he doesn't know the last time he uh, changed it. But man, that oil. I went ahead and removed the deck and you can tell, boy, this thing doesn't look like it's been cleaned forever. It's all kinds of grass and other junk down here. Part of the John Deere, the underside is badly rusted. It's flaking paint off. So we'll have to clean that up later. <clears throat> but now, since I removed the deck, I've got more clearance under the tractor because we've tested everything on the outside so far. And now it's time to find out what's going on inside. So I've already gone ahead and pulled the valve cover here and examined the valves and they're working properly. The way you do that is you just simply turn the crankshaft up here and you can see the valves moving and they're moving fine. So there wasn't really any issue with that. <clears throat> the next thing that we need to do then, since we know that there's really three internal working parts on this if you think about it, keeping it simple. You've got the crankshaft, you have also inside the motor the cam which moves the valves, both the intake valve and the exhaust valve and those are working fine so we know the cam's working fine and then a the third component which we don't know about and that's the piston so what we need to do now is figure out what's going on and try to isolate it because all those other parts are working fine so let's go ahead and remove the cylinder head and we can see kind of the inside <clears throat> I've already loosened this we can take the head off and examine what's up with the piston and the rest of the head. Uh, by the way, I want to mention too, what I did is I created a little diagram, which I'll show you in a second, on where these bolts are. Because this head has <clears throat> six or eight bolts inside of it. This is just one of them right here. But what I did is I went ahead and I created this diagram out of a, just kind of a spare piece of cardboard. Probably didn't really need to do this, <clears throat> this has oil all over it by the way but sometimes uh, with these bolts you have the exhaust side here bolts they can tend to be a little bit shorter than the other bolts so <clears throat> it probably didn't make much difference because all these Briggs and Stratton bolts are the same size but I wanted to go ahead and at least lay them out so I know uh, what area they go back in call it being careful if you want but when you start going to this level of working on engines one thing that I've learned doing this is you want to go slow and you want to pay attention to detail. So let's remove this head now and we can see what's going on here. And here's the valves. And boy, are those things carbon. In fact, those things look burnt to a crisp. You can see on these You've got the intake side and also the exhaust side. And here's the exhaust rod, the lifter for the valves. And then over here, wow, this thing's, look how bent this is. It should be straight compared to the other rod. Here they both are, you can see them both. And that baby is definitely bent. This is made out of aluminum. <clears throat> Again, it's on the intake side. And this is the exhaust. This is made out of steel. Because obviously there's greater heat coming on that side. So that's obviously going to be need to be replaced. So let's take a look <clears throat> at the inner part of the engine. And there's the piston back in there. And inside of the cylinder wall looks pretty good there's a slight slight gouge in here that's pretty nominal I can slightly feel it when I use my fingernail on it you can see all the carbon on the top of the piston head which is in some instances uh, not a good thing at all but not unusual considering how this thing was taken care of. So now if we come up here now and crank on the 
on the crankshaft this piston should be moving and I'm turning it right now and you can clearly see as I turn it both directions this piston is not moving at all so we've got a problem with the piston rod more than likely that thing's cracked when it's done to the inside of this engine and also the crankcase down below <clears throat> remains to be seen but we're gonna have to go to the next level and pull this whole motor off <laughs> 